Previously, we explored fetching and displaying data with server components. Now, let's tackle loading and error states. While client components require you to manage these states with separate variables and conditional rendering, server components make this process much cleaner. To implement a loading state, all we need to do is define and export a React component in loading.tsx. For error handling, we do the same in error.tsx. We covered these concepts earlier when discussing routing, but now let's see how they work specifically with data fetching. Let me jump into VS Code and show you how this works. First, let's create a new file called loading.tsx in the users server folder. So, loading.tsx. This is a Next.js convention. Here, define and export a React component. Let me paste the code here to save us some time. We have export default function loading page, and this component creates a nice loading spinner using two div tags with Tailwind CSS classes. Since data fetching happens pretty quickly in our example, let's add a deliberate delay to better demo the loading state. So await new promise, which results after two seconds. If we head back to the browser and refresh the page, we will see the loading spinner appear for two seconds before our user data shows up. Implementing a loading state is pretty straightforward. Now for the error handling, let's create an error.tsx file in the same folder. The file name is once again an XJS convention. Define and export a React component with suitable styling. I will once again paste the code here to save us some time. Error handling components need to be client components, so we have the use client directive at the top. We then have export default function error page, and this component receives an error object, which we are logging to the console using use effect. In a real application, you would probably want to send this error to an error logging service. The UI simply shows a clear error message in red, error fetching users data. To test error handling back in page.tsx within the same folder, we can simulate an error by changing the URL to something incorrect. So users, one, two, three. Save the file and go back to the browser. You will see our error message appear. Error fetching users data. We have successfully handled both the loading and error states when fetching data in server components. In summary, to manage data fetching states, add a loading.tsx file with a React component for the loading state and an error.tsx file with a client component to handle error states. Now that we have understood the fundamentals of data fetching in server components, let's move on to explore two common patterns for data fetching. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe. It helps a lot.